One of the commonest pain we suffer from is headache. It's so common that I often keep saying to my patients, whoever has head will have headache. From children to elderly, everyone suffers from headache at least once a year. Migraine headache has a lot of triggers for the pain. One important such trigger is food. Yes, certain types of foods trigger headache in some patients. What is puzzling is not everyone has food triggers and not every time these trigger the headache. To complicate the matters, there are several other triggers like sound, lights, sunlight, dust and closed spaces like elevators. But overall, those patients who have headaches for 20-30 years have reported certain food items causing their headache. Which foods? Let's see in this video. Hello and welcome to DocLog's channel. I am Dr. Arun Naik, a doctor for 30 years and a neurosurgeon for 20 years now. Dialogue with your doctor is called a doc log. In this channel, we have doc logs related to brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health and preventive health. We also give here simple, effective tips and tricks to put you on the positive side of your health. With that said, let's get started. Only about 20% of headaches are thought to be food sensitive. I'll give you a list of triggers reported by patients with headache which brings on an episode of pain. This list is not based on the scientific research. I want to tell you friends here, headache and its triggers is one of the less understood topics. Number one, aged cheese. Whether it is cheddar, gorgonzola, mozzarella, parmesan or swiss. Cheese is cheese and cheese is a notorious villain for headache sufferers. The culprit may be a substance called tyramine that forms as the proteins in the cheese break down over time. The longer the cheese ages, the more tyramine it has. A lot of my patients keep cheese out of their diet. They say cheese connection is so strong, sometimes they experience pain within minutes of consuming a cube of cheese and the pain lasts for a day at least. So cheese is out from your diet if you are having headache. What about the other dairy products like milk, curds and ghee? Yes, even they cause migraine in some patients. Number two, alcohol. This is another powerful starter for headache triggers. The literature says any type of liquor can cause a headache in susceptible individuals. But there is one striking connection. Imagine you are at an evening party and you consume a big glass of your favorite Cabernet Sauvignon and the splitting headache starts. You will think the cause of wine headache is drinking too much of wine and not enough water. You are wrong my friends. It's the wine and red wine has been on the radar of medical research on headache for over 20 years. The studies have shown that it's not the alcohol per se then where is the culprit for wine headache? Well, there are three established suspects. Suspect number one, tannins. Tannins are natural ingredients of a variety of fruits including grapes. Tannins cause a lot of dehydration and dryness of mouth. Every wine drinker knows this. Tannins causing headache is debatable. A simple test is to prepare a cup of black tea with a long steep. Black tea is strong in tannins and over steeping the tea will ensure that they are all released into the water. Drink the tea and see if you get a headache. If so, you are susceptible to tannins and it's your time to say goodbye to your Cabernet Sauvignon. Suspect number two, histamines. Histamines are chemicals that are released when we have an allergic reaction. Histamine causes symptoms such as runny nose, dry eyes and a headache. Research has shown that food and drinks that have been aged such as dry aged meats and red wines can cause our body to release histamines and create those allergy like symptoms. To prevent a histamine headache, simply take an antihistaminic medications 
with your doctor's prescription prior to enjoying a glass of red wine. Suspect number three, sugar. We all know that any type of alcohol has tons of sugar in that. When you consume alcohol or sugar, you need lots of water in order to keep digest the sugar. If you are not well hydrated, your body starts to pull the body water it needs from other parts of your body, including your head. As the water in your brain starts to dry, you get a headache. Also, avoid cheaper wines which tend to have more sugar and cause more headache. Number three, fruits. A lot of my patients report that citrus fruits like grapes cause immediate headache after eating. Sour fruits are highly acidic and can change the pH balance of your blood which on reaching your brain may trigger a headache. They also contain amino acids like histamines and tyramine that complicate the matters as told earlier with respect to wine. Avocados, bananas, papaya, kiwi and pineapple all are reported to trigger a headache in some patients. So friends, now you know three notorious villains, cheese, red wine and citrus fruits. What are the other foods blamed to cause a headache? Let's see. Friends, chocolate. The impact of chocolate on headache has been a controversial topic in the field of headache research. While studies on the effects of cocoa, a prominent ingredient in chocolate, have previously condemned it as a trigger for headaches. Now, the new research suggests that it may actually work to prevent headaches rather than cause them. Theobroma cocoa is the botanical name for cocoa and is the main ingredient of chocolates. The latest studies on cocoa have changed the outlook on the chocolates. Cocoa prevents the excitation of your nerve cells and release of inflammatory molecules that cause headache. That way, chocolate prevents a headache. This needs further scientific data on those lines. Hold on, don't be tempted to consider a big chocolate bar as the magic potion for your next headache. Don't forget other ingredients of your chocolates, caffeine and tyramine, which are headache villains as told earlier. The other headache triggers are peanuts, peanut butter, almonds and other nuts and seeds, pizza and other tomato based products, potato chips, smoked or drilled fish, pickled foods, yeast containing foods, lentils, dried beans and peas, onions and garlic, dried fruits like figs, raisins and dates, canned soups, caffeinated beverages including coffee, tea and colas. Watch my video on caffeine headache in my channel. I have outlined the role of coffee in relieving and triggering a headache. Aspartame and other artificial sweeteners. We find these sweeteners in many over the shelf food packs and keep an eye on their contents before consuming them. Nitrate and nitrite containing meats including hot dogs, sausages, bacon, pepperoni and other processed meats. Last but not the least, I want to stress here monosodium glutamate or MSG containing products seen mostly in Asian foods. MSG is added onto the foods with different names like monopotassium glutamate, atollized yeast or hydrolyzed protein. Now how to identify headache triggers? Only possible way to identify foods causing headache is to track the foods and drinks you consume in a day. We consider someone sensitive to food trigger if he or she gets a headache consistently 20 minutes to 2 hours after eating that certain food. Keep in mind friends that headache triggers vary from person to person. Also, trigger can trigger a headache after one or two days after consumption as well. So this complicates the matter of identifying food culprits even further. How to lower your headache triggers? As far as foods, drinks and ingredients are concerned, it's not necessary that one person is sensitive to only one ingredient. There may be more than one headache triggering chemical in one particular food. 
once you suspect one food eliminate it over weeks or months and record this information in a dairy this headache dairy is very important in this dairy also track other factors that creep within 24 hours of the headache like anything special you ate did you eat on time or skip meals did you have a stressful day at work and in women what stage of menstrual cycle you are in with all this information you can begin to sort out and discover yourself the factors that trigger your headache watch a video in my channel regarding the importance of headache diary now final advice about reducing the chance of any foods being headache triggers friends eat a well balanced healthy diet full of vegetables fresh foods and low fat protein avoid processed and packaged foods do not miss your meals do sleep six to eight hours at least at night and last but if not the least always inspect your food package labels before downing it into your shopping bag these days it's mandatory for the food producers to label every food item and its ingredients if you did not recognize any one ingredient it's probably best not to buy it with that friends we have come to the end of this video i hope you like the content presented please give me a big thumbs up like and share this video with your near and dear ones to put them also on the positive side of their health if you are new here please consider subscribing to talk Logs. hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos if you found any other food triggers which i missed in this video friends please share your thoughts in the comment section below i'll throw some light on that food too friends i'll be back with another interesting doc log very soon Till then, feel awesome, live awesome, and take good care of your health. And yes, don't forget to read the ingredients in your food packets before filling your shopping cart.